So this is the pilot assembly. And this is kind of new. I just got it like a week ago. Um, put it on. Didn't really work. And took it out. So I'm going to show you why it doesn't work. Because, because the gap between the tip of that igniter and the sheet metal is too close. So it won't ignite the gas. I'm going to put this thing on and show you um, that it, it won't ignite the gas. Even though the uh, pilot gas comes out, um, but it won't ignite, so you can't. It, it, so the pilot light won't be lit, and therefore um, it won't heat up the sensor in the back over here. When this sensor is heat up, it opens the main gas valve to um, to the burner, and then you you get you get heat. Um, as long as this igniter cannot light the pilot light and then it won't it won't heat up this plate here to send the signal to open the gas valve the main gas valve up here so and therefore you won't get, you won't be able to get heat so i'm going to put this on and show you why the gap doesn't the gap is too close and it won't ignite the pilot light okay the pilot assembly is installed um, I'm gonna test it to show you why it won't light up the pilot light because the gap is too close um, between the igniter and that sheet metal where the gas comes out so I'm gonna switch it on I already have my thermostat upstairs to call for heat once I switch this on it's gonna tick it's gonna click 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 but it will not light up you can see it's just gonna go tick 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 the gas is there but it's not gonna light up because the gap is too close I know the gas is there because I'm going to manually light this thing up to show you. As you can see, the pilot light is on. Now, I'm going to switch it off again to show you. Okay, that's off. And then, switch it back on again. See the gap between the igniter? It's arcing, but the arcing is is too short. It's too it's too close. So it needs to arc a little bit bigger. So here I'm gonna light it up again and show you. See now it's working again. So I'm gonna switch it off and take that out again and readjust the gap between the igniter and the sheet metal. Wait, I'm I'm just gonna let it run to show you. It's gonna heat up that plate and then it's gonna um, open up the valve for the main gas uh, for the burner and then and then we'll get heat so right now it's heating up that thing it's gonna take a few more seconds maybe and then you're gonna hear the main gas valve open up. Still waiting. Just hear a tick for the gas valve 
and boom, now the burner is burning, it's going to heat up and then the the fan's going to go on and then it's going to push up the heat to the house. So. So that's it. I'm going to turn it off and adjust the gap and show you what I mean, okay? So here's the pilot assembly with the right gap. It should be about one-fourth of an inch from, if you have a ruler, from, you can see, I'm going to put it down. Should be about one fourth of an inch from the edge of uh, edge of that. Sorry, it's about one fourth of an inch from the edge of that sheet metal there on the and the tip of the of the igniter. Okay, so if you have a ruler, just try to measure it to get the exact gap there. So I'm gonna install this and and show you that it will work. So, okay, so the pilot assembly is back in with the right gap. I'm going to turn on a switch. I have my thermostat already set up to call for heat. So I'm going to go to the side here and turn on the switch. And you should see um, the igniter trying to ignite the gas, okay? See the arc on this one is a little bit bigger. This is still trying. Okay. Okay, finally, it took a while to come on, maybe because we just installed it, <laughs> so I'm not sure if there's um, enough gas coming out. I'm switching back off again and try again, okay? Okay, it's off. Now, just switch it back on again. Oh, it came on right away. That was quick. Okay, let's switch it back off. Let it sit for maybe 10 seconds to clear everything. And I'm gonna switch it back on. Okay, it came on right away. So I think that's the problem uh, with these things. This is a, a carrier 58GS. It's an old heater. It's, this one's about 32 years old. Um, so, um, I guess it's still, I hope it's, it's gonna work for a while until we get a new one. But I, I, think, I think this will um, fix our issue for now. Um, so when you take out that pilot assembly, you see that bracket right there around it? try to clean it up because often times like mine is super rusty and you need a good contact I guess for the ground because that pilot assembly does have a sensor um, right below it right there and that the sensor I guess needs the ground to send the signal to I guess to um, to, to the board 
and then also to to open the gas valve so as you can see it's running and um, I think this will fix I hope this will fix it and I think um, if your heater is if you have a similar heater I think uh, carrier 58 GS and some uh, there's some other brand like Bryant with similar setup um, they have that three wire assembly pilot assembly and that's usually is is where the trouble is um, so check the gap on that igniter uh, between the igniter and the um, the metal plate gap where the gas the pilot gas comes out so you can see uh, my heater is running the fan just went on we're gonna get heat okay Thank you so much. I hope this helps.